Hero House! Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the G.I. Joe Classified Firefly from the Cobra Island wave. Now I'm not sure if this dude has been as hard to find as some of the others, but a lot of them have been very difficult to find, so hopefully that's not the case, because he does seem to be one of the better figures. He's not brightly coloured, but he is interesting in his design, and I quite like that. I mean, he comes with a load of gear and accessories too. You can see he's got this amazing backpack ensemble going on. He's got a drone. The dynamite detaches from the backpack. Uh, his goggles, you know, you can slide down over his face or take them off his head. They're also an accessory. And the gun, which can connect to the backpack. So basically, he can hold all of his accessories at once, which is something I love in a figure. The only thing that I think doesn't really suit is this, which I believe is meant to be the thing he holds to control the drone if you want to pose him like that. This doesn't really clip in anywhere. So you just got to kind of hold that. So I'll just put it to one side for now. Yeah, aesthetically, I quite like him. I mean, he's got this big, bulky, soft plastic armor that does make him look quite hench, which is good. The backpack is well done. It's got all little tools sculpted in there. The dynamite's nice. Drone is very good. And the goggles are good. And I'm not sure if we'll get the face in, if my phone will focus. But you'll see he's got like a burned crazy eye. Really good detailing on the face. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, really excellent work on the face sculpt. Very pleased. And the rest of him, it's not boring, but it's not super excited. It's just kind of military outfit. But still very nice aesthetic, especially with the backpack and everything sort of collected together. And obviously he's got the Cobra symbol on his uh, pauldron. Pauldron? There. Articulation-wise, this does hamper his chest movement and his head movement, so can't really look up or down because of the collar. No real side to side, but you can turn it 360. Uh, arm, you can get up to 90. It's not hindered because this is a soft plastic. You've got a bicep swivel. Is there a butterfly joint in there? Yep, there's a butterfly joint in there. Double jointed elbow, slightly hampered by this, but still going to get more than 90 degrees. Wrist is on a hinge and it rotates 360. Yeah, you will get some swivel at the waist, I think. Yeah, you get waist swivel, but as for ab crunch, I don't think this is going to allow it. The leg, you're going to have a double jointed knee. Yes, double jointed. That will give you more than 90. Oh, he's also got a thigh swivel, a shin swivel, yep, and a it's going to go down that much, going to come up that much, and great ankle pivot. He also doesn't have the very loose leg joints like a lot of the other figures. Super pleased, probably has the best legs I've seen from this line in terms of how they hold up, but they still are kind of ugly, like they really sit low in the hips. Oh, you can push them up again. But I don't know why they have these weird floating hip designs on the Joes. They just need to fix those lower bodies, and these will be like one of their best lines. And also, if they boost the fucking... Ex Excuse me. If they boost the accessibility of these figures, then that will, yeah, definitely improve this line if you could access them. Uh, how do I rank this guy? I love the accessories. I mean, the drone just popping into his backpack and then coming out looks quite cool. Yeah, nifty, nifty figure. The gun's a bit basic, but, you know, plugs into the backpack. So I enjoy that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there are no obvious flaws, really. I can't fault him price-wise. It was just, you know, the price of a Marvel Legend. He's nicer. He's not a character I'm familiar with in any way. But I do dig him as a figure. He's going to be rocking up in the Wreckers. Um, yeah, I'm going to give him a 5 out of 5. I mean, I just walked into a Forbidden Planet and found him. So I have no complaints about this figure whatsoever. I mean, the big vesting prohibiting his movement is probably not good. But if that's part of the character design, what more could they do? Uh, yeah, no, they could have done it better. 4.75 out of 5, but still a very solid figure. Yeah, let's dive into the figures and wrap this up. One step.
Okay, folks, and there you have it, the G.I. Joe Classified Firefly. And once you pull down the goggles, I don't know why, but this figure just transforms into something truly badass. I love how he looks with the goggles pulled down over the burnt face. I mean, yeah, it just completely changes the feel of him. It makes him creepy and unearthly and makes him, like, seem really interesting in terms of design. And the fact that it's an accessory and the backpack is an accessory and you can change the feet on the drone so it looks different in various positions. Yeah, really, really solid figure. Enough so that I'm going to overlook and bump him back up to the 5 out of 5 rating. This is a really, really good release. Might be my favourite Joe figure at this point. I mean, I've got, oh, what's his name, Major Blood coming this week as well, hopefully. So he might usurp him because the Joes do seem to be getting better as we're going along. So really, really impressed. Hope the line keeps moving in this trajectory that they fix the hips and that they fix the distribution. But yeah, no, definitely pick this guy up. Strong, strong recommendation. Uh, that's it. If you enjoyed this review, then we have plenty more that are updated very regularly. We've also got Hero House, The Wreckers, Figure Fights, Top 10 lists, and Ranking lists, so loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye!